Redefining Mom, and in this video, I'm going to show you how I use Canva templates to quickly design my Pinterest images. Canva is a free graphic design software. You can go to www.canva.com and sign up for free. This is my main dashboard that you're looking at right now. This is a program that many bloggers and online business users use to create professional looking graphics with absolutely zero graphic design background. I do not have a graphic design background and I create all of my images in Canva. So the basics of Canva is they have predetermined different types of popular documents that you might use on social media. Uh, they have a ton of different things, eBooks, uh, blog graphics, and you can also create your own dimensions. Uh, what I do for Pinterest is I always select this Pinterest graphic. Uh, the size, the pixel size is already optimized uh, for sharing on Pinterest. And Canva has a few free layouts that you can select from. What I usually tell people is select a free layout and modify it for your brand. So use your fonts and use your colors for your brand. So since I use Canva on a regular basis, I already have uh, a few templates that I can choose from. So the way I do this is this carrot drop down, I can go to all your designs and this is gonna pull up all my, my recent designs in Canva. Right here is a, a pin that I created last night. And if I select that, it now pops it over into my editor. So how I would use this template to quickly create a new pin is I would go to my uploads and let's say that I'm gonna use this picture right here, this uh, vertical picture. I'm gonna drag it. And when the picture lights up, see, you can see you have to hover over it just right there. Now that image swapped out for this new image. This can be a completely different pin now. Let's say I wanna change the background color. I just click the background and change the color and you can see this is my, my color palette. So, uh, let's see, I'm going to change the background to this light purple. Okay, and as you can see, the, the background is granite. And if I don't want it to be granite, I can just, while I'm highlighting the background, I can delete it, go to background, and I can select that same purple color. Now it's purple uh, without the granite. If I wanted the granite back, I can scroll down. And I believe I picked this right here and then when you highlight that you just select your color again and now I have the granite background back. Now I can change out the wording very quickly for my new image that I want to create and I can mess with the colors um, and use a different brand color but essentially I can change out an image and the text rather fast and now I've created my Pinterest image in a matter of really minutes instead of every time I go in here having to develop a new image from scratch. Uh, so I do suggest that you take advantage of using Canva templates. I would come up with two to three variations of templates that you like and use them consistently for branding on Pinterest. Um, I don't believe that you have to have all your images be similar, but I do think that uh, using consistent fonts and colors on your images will help your brand stand out. Sometimes I A-B split test and use images and fonts and colors that are completely different from my brand just to see if I can get those pins to take off and there's nothing wrong with doing that either. You could even make templates for your A-B split test. You can make a template that's on brand and a template that's off brand so that every time you have a new pin, you can quickly put together two different A-B split tests and see which one performs better. Uh, I actually do that myself and I find this way the easiest way to create Pinterest graphics uh, in a fast manner.